your business. Hello, Miss Diary, are you all right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we talk about sorting, right? Remember, what's the time complexity of sorting? N log N. Where the N is the number of elements, yeah? So, mm. we talk about a quick sort, yeah? Quick sort. And what's quick sort? And the merge sort. Mm. Yeah, these two are all both O and log N on average, yeah? But bear in mind, the quick sort, the worst case is still O N square. Right? You know the quick sort, right? We have a number. We have a few number like three, two, five, four, seven, one, zero. Okay? So we can pick random. We pick a random pivot, right? Remember if you in case you don't remember. Pick one random and you pivot. Pick, and you pick another one and you pick No no we pick one one pivot and then we find out all the numbers. We partition the list by all the numbers smaller than five. Yeah, smaller than five is what? Three, two, one, zero. Four, right? This is uh, one zero four. Let, let's smaller than five. A uh, bigger than five is seven. So we construct it. Look, we use the pi we, we we pick a random pi number as a pivot, and we okay. partition the list as two parts. One is the one the number smaller than the pivot. The other one is the one number numbers the bigger than the pivot. And we keep recursively sorting these quick sorting these, right? Yeah. So that that will become a problem. Why is that? If you because we're randomly picking this pivot. If this pivot is not picked good enough, then that will become a problem. Why is that? Look, if the number is already sorted, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Look, how about if I pick, pick with 1? But then there's no such number, that's smaller than 1, right? So I can, all, all I can do is that I have this pivot and then everything bigger than that. How about then I, because of it, pick this pivot, right? And then again, I only have a the numbers that bigger than the pivot, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we are not making, we are not making the best benefit of partitioning, right? So in this case, this is O n square, right? And that's quick sort. How about merge sort? Merge sort. The merge sort comes with the we know how to merge two sorted this. Yeah, remember? Do you, do you still remember how to we merge sort sorted it? Like one, three, five, seven, and then this is the list. Another list is two, four. Two four six a. How do we merge these two sorts? Sort it. Uh, one two three four. Yeah, yeah. So we compare the pointers. Yeah, we compare the value. Yeah, one is smaller than two, so we pick the one here, and then we move the one to that, right? Yeah. Two is smaller than three. Pick a two, and move it. Yeah. So we know we know this all end time complexity to merge to sort it this. So what we we can do for the list is that we we equally divide it into two half, right? And then we divide it into two half. We because we saw these two bit, and once them become sorted, I will merge it, right? So this is on average. If it's a worst case, in the worst case, merge sort is still O and O again, right? So in this case, it's better than quick sort. But quick sort, if you if we generally we pick the random period, and that that will give the very good, uh, you know, very good running time, yeah. On average, in practice, okay. So this this is the most efficient log sorting algorithm, okay. Most efficient, okay. And we are today we're going to talk another sort, which is not quite used in practical, but it, we can use it to demonstrate how the sorting, the simple sorting, one of the simple sorting algorithm, right? Simple sorting, simple sorting algorithm. What's simple? Uh, it's not complicated. It's easy. Yeah, 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 easy. So it's it, the time complexity, okay? I, I let you figure out the time complexity, okay? So how we do it? We look, three, we, we call it bubble sorting. What's bubble? Uh, uh, it's a round thing. So wh where do you find the bubbles? From, we, what? we find it, we In, just blow it. Yeah, but usually, you know the diving, yeah? Diving, yeah, we diving. Bubbles. Di diving, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, this is, the, this is the man, yeah? You jump, yeah, jump here. Okay, maybe, maybe like that. Okay, yeah. And then once it's in in there, yeah, it blow. It starts blow, and then the bubbles. Where is the bubbles going? Uh, going up. Yeah, bubbling. Like fizzy drink. Yeah, yeah, fizzy drink. Okay, bubble. Yeah, exactly, bubble. Okay. So what does it mean in sorting? Right. So we have numbers. Right. Look, look, look at this. Three. So we when we sorted numbers, the by default, the, 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 
order is increasing, yeah? ascending order, right? So it means the from the smallest to the biggest. So like three, five, two, one, seven, six. Okay, that, that's zero, okay? Let's see, we want to solve it, yeah? How, how can we solve it? So first of all, yeah? First of all, the last, the last few, you know, we, we start to sort it and then we, uh, we arrange the sorted list numbers at the end, right? So at the beginning, there's none sorted, right? So by we do it, what? Three and five. If three is bigger than five, look, if current number is next, is bigger than the next number, we swap it. Yeah, we're not swapping it, yeah? yeah. We, do we swap it? Mm. We, when this is bigger than the next one, we swap it. Do we swap it? Yeah. Yeah, so we swap it. So let's become two and become five. This one, are we sorting, sort it, swap it with the next one? Okay, so, okay, are we swapping it? Uh, no. Are we swapping it? Yes. Are we swapping it? Yes. So, do you see what I'm doing here? Once I call this, so the last number would be what? Uh, the largest, yeah? The last largest of the unsorted list, right? Yeah, so this is the largest. When we do the first round, we always swap it if the current number is bigger than one. It's like bubbling, yeah? So what does it mean? When it goes to the end, the l largest number will be the, the end, at the end, right? Yes? Uh, I don't really get how it's the largest number at the end. So, because look, if it, this is bigger, look, I have another bigger number. Let, let's say, I have another bigger number, 12. Okay, so let's say 12, okay? And then we want to swap it. So, at the end, 12 must be go to the end. Why is that? Look, 3 bigger than 12, no? Right? 12 bigger than 1? No. So I swap it. 12 bigger than 5? Yeah. No, so 5, 12. You see? So the largest number will be always moved to the end. 12 and 6? Yeah. 12 and 0? Yeah. 12 and 7? Yeah. You see? So what does it mean? Once go go through that, the largest, current largest number, look, we always partition in this the list into two halves, okay? You have to go through the thing again? Like this, that's, that's a very good question. I'm, 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 now I'm talking about this. Like, look, so I, this is the list, yeah? Final list, yeah? Mm -hmm. Look, and I partition it, this is unsorted. And this is sorted. At the beginning, look, at the beginning, this sorted is nothing, right? But now, when I do it, I move this, I always move it, start from here, right? I move the unsorted to the, to the sorted. I go and uh, let this 12 become the end, right? Mm -hmm. So now 12 is the largest here, right? Mm -hmm. So the next time, I, I don't come here again. So now, next time, the sorted will uh, have one element. And then I just have to sort the, uh, the array with the one number less. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so now, next one, look, three. Bigger than one or what? We move it, yeah? Yes. Um, one, three. Three and five? Nope. Five and six? Nope. Six and zero? Yes. Six and seven? Nope. Okay, so now I, I, don't, I, I don't swap it. I don't consider, I, I stop it here, right? Because now, now this 12 is already sorted in the last one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the seven is the second largest, right? It's the largest in these, right? So, I, and then I move here. Right, so the unsorted list will be here, right? One and three? Yes, no, I mean no. Three, five? No. Five, zero? Yes. Okay. Five, six? No. Okay, so six is the largest, okay, and then I move here, right? So look, do you see this, yeah? Yeah, do you see, see this, how, how this works? Yes. Yeah, so every time we're bubbling, we're bubbling, so the bubble, the largest number will be bubbled to the end, which is no, the no. sorting, huh? Okay, let, let me draw the algorithm, okay? And then you will understand. So this is the simple sorting. It's very easy. Eh? You just remember the bubbling, yeah? We're always bubbling the largest number to the end, right? So define bubble sort with the numbers. First of all, we need to get the element of num length of element, yeah? Length, num. Okay, so for i in Range, range what? Range is 
Najwa. For I in Najwa. For I in range in. N, yes. Column. So now I have to fold J in range. Wah. J in range, wah. We are going to start from zero, yeah? Start from zero, okay? And let's do N minus I minus one, okay? I tell you what it is. So, and then now I have to swap. Look, if nums J bigger than nums, nums what? Come on, you can tell me. Nums J bigger than what's next? J? J next. Class one, okay, J is the number, okay. And then I, if bigger than one, then I need to swap these two. Yeah? How do we swap two, two things? Uh, by... A, B equals what? B equals B A. Yeah. So nums J nums J plus one equals nums J plus one nums A. Yeah. Equals okay. Equals num. I, I just write it here, right? This is called the uh, top top assignment, yeah. Top assignment. So we swapping this, right? And then that'll be return uh, return number. What's the counter message? It means what? Um, n square. Yeah, always well, look n n yeah. So okay, so <clears throat> we want to go to the n rounds, n rounds, and then look these n when i is zero, right? When i is zero, n minus one. We are not touching the n minus one, right? This is going to j. J is here, right? J. So for each round, j will be start from zero, right? Start from zero to to n minus i prime, right? Okay. Remember, we talk about when we have one more round, there will be one more element which is included in the sorted. This is sorted, yeah, right? So when i is included, how many rounds do we need to solve all the numbers n round, right? Yeah, we want, we need the n rounds. Each each round, each each round, each each bubbling. We always find out a one largest number in the unsorted and we'll move it to the sorted. Make sense? Yeah? yeah? Okay, so we need the n round. Okay, so how about look if the, the number is already sorted? One, two, three, four, five. Can you swap any of these? Can you swap any of these? No. Why why is that? Because they're already sorted. It, it's already sorted, yeah. It's already sorted. Look, no matter how many rounds you need. So do we need to continue in this time? Yeah, if already if this list is already sorted, then we can we can just break, we can just exit here. Yeah? So we can put it here. Swap. But swap. How do we know if it's already sorted? Yeah, look at swap equals false. At the beginning we set it to false. But now we once we swap it, we set it here. Swap equals true, right? Whenever we find an element bigger than the next one, we swap equals true. Right? And then here and here we just say if not swap. If not swap, okay. What does it mean? So here, yeah, we we doing this one bubbling, yeah, one bubbling. But we are not swapping anything. Look, yeah, we are not swapping anything, right? We are not swapping anything, right? Because it's already swapping, yeah. You can't find any element bigger than the next one, right? Right. So we are not here. We we haven't executed here, right? Because you can't find any element bigger than the next one. So this loop we will be doing. For nothing, yeah. So swap will be equal to swap. And if not swap, means that okay, after this round, we found no elements can be swapped, then we just break, yeah. Huh? Make sense? Yeah? That's one optimization, right? So, okay. Best case is if the what's the time complexity if the array is already sorted? What's the time complexity if it, the array is already sorted? Already sorted, come on. Only one. Nine. Oh, why is the low end? Come on, look. Here, how many rounds is it? So it needs to do this at least n times, right? Here, mm -hmm. when i is zero, right? j needs to go to n times. But then you found out that swap is never set to true, then you break. So how many? N Come on, why is it one square? In the worst case, it's a one square. In the average case, it's a one square. I'm saying, when the array is already sorted, when the array is already sorted, come on. Okay, follow me. 
swap equals false. Okay, so I need to repeat this n times, right? Yeah, j, j times, yeah? But if we already sorted, has this variable been set to true? Will it be set to true if, it's, if no elements being swapped? No. Okay, so if not swap, it's true, right? Yeah? And then break. So how many, how many iterations do I need to do? Remember, i is equal to zero, and I found out this is not swap, and then I terminate the loop immediately. What's the time complexity if they already, it's already sorted? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, sorted. And what's the time complexity? Oh, exactly, Owen. I said there were no, yeah. Okay, okay, and what's the Owen square? The Owen square is on average, yeah? On average, mm -hmm. yeah? Or in the worst case, if the array is reverse sorted, it means that 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? Yeah? Okay, so for example, this is 5, two, five 4, 3, 2, 1. Can you tell me how the array will be sorted? And that will be, that will be it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so what happened next? Okay. So, so, so I got this um swap thing. Yeah. Equals false. No, no, no. I, I just want you to oh. to tell me tell me what's the what's the next one after five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so four swappies. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh. Okay, you don't need to wrap it, you just need to tell me where it's there. Okay, swap here, swap here, and then swap here. So you put a file here, okay? And then what's next? And then you just need to swap it here. Uh. Yeah. And where's the one? One is here. Yeah? Okay, and then what's next? Swap, swap, swap. And some more space. Okay, okay and then what's stop? Okay, and then that's it. And then more more and then break. Okay? Good job. We're done today. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. bye, 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 bye. bye, bye.